Almost a million people flock to Times Square to watch the ball drop on New Year's Eve. The police close off a dozen city blocks and there's barely enough room to move. So, obviously, this is a great time to take a cab. So who's the super genius that thought she could plow through a Times Square crowd on New Year's Eve? Why, it's porn star Sarah J. And she's trying to beat back the mob on her own. But when she pushes one woman too far, the real fireworks get started. Notice how Ms. Punchy never loses her cigarette? Classy. Rather than face a real fight, cowardly Miss Purple slips away. And Sarah is back to going nowhere fast. But check out how happy the driver is. Guess the meter is still running. At least this crowd got to see something besides the ball. <laughs> Getting dropped. It's body positivity all day, so I, I don't really worry about it. So this is Sarah J. Have a good one, though, okay? No, just 20 bucks. 20 bucks? For this video that we just shot? Okay, no, for sure. I'll have my cousin cash up here. No, 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 right now. How's he going? needs to pay me $20. Thank you right now. No, no, I'll pay. I'm I down to pay. We're good to pay. Can you not like touch my cameraman though? I'd appreciate that. No, I don't. I spend my money on your OnlyFans. I don't have 20. I don't have cash. How do you know that? Uh, he's touching. <laughs> you're gonna touch me. You're gonna touch me. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Some yeah. I don't understand what just happened. So he took like a 10 second video with Sarah J. And then Sarah J's like, yeah, that'll be $20. I think that's fucking cringe and trashy. Embarrassing. To, to have that sort of a video and be like, where's my $20? And maybe I he's guess, trolling her a little bit, I guess. But, but I know. Like, Walk away. Don't I, ask him I, for money on camera. I know that sound. Because I, when I was there, I, I definitely saw a lot of performers. Okay, they charge for a photo, but they let you know in advance. Mm -hmm. like, oh, can I get a there photo with you? That'll be $20. Oh, my God. Uh, that'll be, no, that'll be like $50 right. or whatever it is. The reason she knows Sarah J's name is because she's like she likes to make fun of her and she has to laugh at her. <laughs> So I was like, damn, like, I don't know Sarah J, but, like, I I know, like, people who represent her, and I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I hope met that, her once, too. Well, she's I've never met her. in it for, like, a long, long, so she must be. She's, an maybe she's over it. Maybe she's, maybe like. She's like, all right, come oh, on. The point where like, she kind of, like, hates her fans. Where's my $20, home, honey? You know? Like, yeah. I don't know the whole story. I know she walked off. I just, he walked off because Gino called in and said the N-word a couple of times, but he was trying to punk out or make laugh or make cringe Kevin Brandon. So it had nothing to do with her, but just because she heard the words, she just took it upon herself to leave. And then like the next day we find all these clips of her like saying the N-word like in her <gasps> porns, like, yeah, I love that N-word dick. And I was like, Oof. oh my gosh, she does race play I'm porn. It, like cringing. I know that. I was like, yes, she does. Wait, and wait, she, and she has all those braids on her head. Oh my yes. God, it makes so much more well, sense Well, yeah, she, now. I mean, if anything, it's are you worried about Lucy? Cultural I don't know. Oh my God, no, no, I can't yeah. be talking about her. I don't no, wanna... she does not watch this show. She was she uh she I don't like talking she's bad about people. Cultural appropriate. Well, you don't know her, you're just talking about whatever. the situation. I mean, okay, yeah. <laughs> you know. It's just the situation for right. her personally. Okay, so this guy what's his name? Okay, Pat? so Amber Heard. Okay. No, so stop Amber it. Heard. Pat, we're what? just about to talk about Sarah J a little bit because Lucy has <laughs> oh, okay. she has inside experience. Go. She knows the industry. Go on. So, so yeah. Shush, Pat, I'm going to hang up on you. I, 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 I don't know. If I up. can say one thing, and I'm also, I'm just going to say right now, I'm under the influence of three different drugs. Okay. <laughs> That's not bad. That, well, no, it's just shrooms, weed, and a lot of alcohol. So That's basically, fine. Yeah, it's fine. So, basically, like, if you're, I don't, I'm assuming she's white. Yes. And I'm assuming that, you know, if you're fucking black guys for money, and you're white in the industry, and you have a head full of braids on your head you really you have no right to be fucking offended by someone saying the n-word i understand it could be very offensive but i was i don't i mean like just to me it just if i was a white woman with braids on my head and i fucked black guys for a living i would just be sitting there just being like all right this is what's happening just saying yeah it was very confusing to like yeah. put all that together she was getting turned on she was like you're teasing <gasps>